and welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell, I am here at the Mirage in Las Vegas for WPPI, which is an amazing photography, well, it's a wedding and portrait photography experience that you should not be missing. But since you may be at home right now, I'm gonna enjoy it for all of you out there. So I plan on doing my annual touch tour through this conference. The first time I'm gonna be doing is at the Nikon booth. No surprise there if you've been following my channel. Now, I just wanna let you know before I get started with the touch tour and interview at the Nikon booth, I wanted to let you know that first of all, at all of the at all of the booths, I will be doing my talking head video with the Nikon ZF and the 40 millimeter f2.0 lens. As you know, in the earlier video, I already posted that I uh, the reason why I decided to bring this camera for this expo as well as the 24 to 120 lens. So go check out that video for yourself. Now for all my B-roll I am recording, like right now, is with the DJI Pocket 2, which is still a very phenomenal and very capable vlogging little camera. So I'll leave a link down in the description section for you to check out that little camera for yourself if you like the B-roll quality. So with all that said, don't forget to press that like and subscribe. And yes, hit the bell to get notifications for my upcoming content. I will be visiting many booths. Which booths? Well, how about you tell me by posting your comments down below. Let me know which booth you would like to meet for me to go visit. So with all that said, let's get to it. My name is Mark Cruz. I work for Nikon USA as their senior manager for the marketing department. I tell you, we're here at, at WPPI, that's the Wedding and Portrait Professional International, and the exciting thing for that crowd is gotta be the Plena, a lens that has its own special name. That's for the 135 1.8 that we released uh, just a few months ago, and you couple that with the Z8 and the latest firmware 2.0, and you have a beautiful wedding or portrait photography package. Uh, recently, we updated the Z8 with firmware that has new uh, things for portrait, like portrait impression balance, skin softening, uh, new picture controls for black and white monochrome, um, and you couple those with our several different lenses designed specifically for portraiture. I think it's a great platform to be in. We've got the 85 1.2, 50 millimeter 1.2, 135 Plena, like I mentioned, and the, even the Noct, uh, beautiful pieces of glass. I'll tell you who the target audience for the ZF is. It's me. <laughs> And anyone that really appreciates design, I'll tell you this, it's the intersection of design and technology. Usually sometimes you'll have a retro design camera, but the specs might not be totally cutting edge, or it might have cutting edge cameras, but it's a more contem contemporary design. This is the intersection of those two. You're looking at X-Speed 7 processor, the same processor as a Z8 and Z9, but now at a lower megapixel, 24 megapixel, which gives you better low light quality, higher ISO, and better AF detection in low light. So the performance is actually really, really high. The same subject detection methods and all that stuff. But what we've even put in here are things that a lot of our other cameras don't have, like pixel shift shooting. You can turn that 24 megapixel into a over 90 megapixel image and uh, giving you a lot of flexibility. I'll tell you what, for a camera that really looks like a film camera, an old film camera, um, digital camera, it's great for video. It has a flip out screen on the side and believe it or not, it actually outperforms our Z62 because it has built-in N-Log. So if you ask me who this camera is for, first and foremost, I think it's for the people that really enjoy the art of photography. They like the process of manual tactile dials, the slower, more methodical, deliberate approach to photography, and as a surprise, really satisfying video features. So I, I think a lot of people are gonna love this camera. Also because, despite that it's a, a, a heritage style design, it is full frame. Something that you don't see in today's market. Oh, uh, you are got one of the uh, favorite lenses people are gonna have for the ZF. That is the uh, the special edition 40 millimeter f2. I right now have the 28 millimeter 2.8, which it looks exactly like the 40 millimeter f2. It's just a stop slower, but it's got a wider um, viewing angle. The thing I like about it, it is so small and light. It is actually very very inexpensive, but the quality is magnificent so that's probably uh, the best lens that I have for this right now the 28 millimeter 2.8 I could also go with the 40 millimeter f2 uh, check out our properties on uh, YouTube Instagram um, we're even on TikTok as well as Facebook and Twitter uh, Nikon USA is gonna be the tag and uh, also check out our website NikonUSA.com thank you very much